You know, in my opinion, in any walk of life, freedom of expression is a very important quality, a very important factor. Everybody's entitled to it. If you've got an opinion, you should be able to express that opinion, particularly if you could back it up with sheer fact. In the House of Commons, it appears that if you say the wrong word about an individual or something, then you're forced to withdraw it. Otherwise, it's gone, get out, off you go. And uh, yeah, I watched a bit of a fast stroke circus today which illustrates this quite well. How do everyone? Welcome back to the channel for a Monday. Hope you're doing all right. I'm not too bad myself, actually. Apart from the fact I'm set out here and it's getting a bit dark and dingy, but there you go. There you go. That's one of those things. That's why they call me the cabby cabby. I'm out here in my cab talking to you. Well, 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 the old uh, grey report or the tiny fraction of it was uh, made known today, wasn't it, to the good old-fashioned houses of commons and a statement was given by Boris at about 3.30 this afternoon and stereotypically and we knew it was coming you're no good you're incompetent how could you let this happen completely deceitful blah, blah, blah. you know and it went on and on it was really pathetic but one thing I noticed uh, in particular was a little incident that happened with Ian Blackford check this out He basically stood up and called Boris a liar. You know, for the record, I can't stand Ian Blackford. I can't stand the sight nor sound of the man. I never have been able to. And that's my opinion. But surely you're well within your rights to stand up and say what you think. They have parliamentary privilege in the House of Commons where they can say something about an individual or organisation outside without fear of any repercussions, i.e. lawsuits. But when it comes to inside, they apparently can't say anything disparaging about one another. The, uh, you know, the Speaker of the House, Lindsay Hoyle, said, withdraw your remarks, sir. No, I'm not going to. I, w I was saying what I think, and I'm not going to. I'll give you another opportunity, withdraw your remarks. And this went on and on and on. And it was quite obvious that Blackford was of the opinion Boris is a liar. And he got thrown out for the day out of the House of Commons. I've seen this happen before. It's, it's archaic in my view. You know, am I being naive? Tell me if I am, I'll take it on the chin like a big boy. Well, I am, yeah, I can be a big boy, but it, it's just ridiculous. Surely you should be able to listen to something a statement, uh, an observation, and be able to give honest feedback on it without fear of getting cancelled out because certain members need protecting, and that does include the Prime Minister. Ridiculous. Let me know what you think in the comments, but uh, utter joke, all of it, a circus. Mind you, I'd rather go to a circus, to be honest. Toodaloo!